In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up 2D pathfinding in your game. So to start with, uh, we're going to have an empty scene. And I'm just going to create an object that we can use as some kind of obstacle. I have a pre-made uh, one times one unit square that I'm using as an obstacle. And I'm just going to place it at the origin and then duplicate it a few times and uh, create a few obstacles. I'm also going to attach a collider to it uh, so that the pathfinding scripts can detect it later. Here we go. I also created uh, a new world game object that I just put all the tiles beneath uh, just to keep it organized. Now we're going to create uh, uh, actual pathfinding scripts. So I'm creating a new game object called a star because that's the name of the package and I'm going to attach the pathfinder script to it and then uh, I'm going to create a new grid graph uh, and right now you can see that it doesn't really show up in the 3d view because that's because the default settings are configured for a 3d game so we're just going to rotate it by using minus 90 degrees along the x-axis make it line up in the uh, with a 2D plane. So then we're going, just going to resize it, make it fit our level. And you can see right now that it doesn't really line up. So I'm just going to offset it by 0.5 units in each direction. Now, if we scan the graph, you'll see that all nodes are unwalkable, which is bad. That's not what we want. And that's because right now we're using uh, 3D physics and we want to use 2D physics. And for 2D physics, we cannot use the capsule collider mode because that doesn't really make sense in 2D. So we're going to use the ray mode. Uh, what the ray mode does is that it just um, checks for each node if there is a collider right at that point at the center of each node. And then we're uh, going to make sure that our tiles are det detected as obstacles by putting them in the transparent FX layer or any other layer that you have and making sure that the mask field in the uh, grid graph settings contain the transparent FX layer. Then if we scan the graph, we'll see that now we have a nice walkable surface in the graph and the tiles are still unwalkable, which is what we want. So now we have a graph and we want to create an AI that can traverse it. So we're just going to attach the AI path script, which is one of the included uh, movement scripts in the package. And uh, we also need to rotate it, because this is 2D after all. So we'll rotate it by the same amount as the graph, minus 90 degrees along the x-axis. And I will just create a sprite that uh, shows where the AI is, using some default sprite that Unity has included. So our AI needs a target. So we can create it and yeah, call it just target and move it somewhere else on the map. And then we'll just assign the target uh, transform to the uh, target field on the AI path script. And now if we try to play it, uh, it will almost work. But you can see that uh, the AI is dragged down. And that's because there is still gravity enabled on the script. So we'll have to disable that because in 2D there is no gravity. Now it moves nice and smoothly through the target. Uh, you can see that it does clip uh, the edges of the obstacles a bit. And uh, uh, that's because the AI smooths the path that it uh, traverses. So if we just pause it here you see that it tries to move to a point uh, ahead of it. This blue circle indicates um, which point on the path it will try to move to. So we can reduce the pick next waypoint distance a bit, make it follow the path more closely. Now it follows the path more closely, but it still clips the corners a bit.
So to solve this, we are going to have to increase the resolution of our graph. Because right now, there isn't really any room for a margin to the obstacles. So if we just set the node size to 0.5 instead of 1, so we just halve it, and then double the number of nodes on the graph to keep it the same size. And if we scan, scan the graph again, uh, it looks pretty much the same. But if we change the collider type to sphere, and change the diameter to something like 1.1, uh, that will uh, create a small margin around all obstacles. Now, if, if we make the AI move somewhere, you can see that it uh, keeps its distance from the obstacles a bit more. You can also uh, simplify the path a bit, the AI takes. Um, and we can do that by attaching the funnel modifier to it. Now you can see that the path has been simplified more. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.